evening and welcome to the 2011 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair Gala. My name is Heather Lipom and I am so happy to be here. While many of you know me as the person who is usually next to the person at the microphone, I was honored to be asked by the committee to MC and share this exciting evening with all of you. Many of you also know that I am from Sheboygan County, born and raised. But what you may not know is that when I was very young, my parents were fortunate to discover a farmhouse for rent that was owned by the Ernst family just west of Plymouth. And while the Ernst family operated the farm on site, my parents and I lived there several years, and that was my introduction to agriculture. Now in the last few years, I've had the privilege of working on committees that planned components of Farm Technology Days and the Alice and Dairyland Finals. Those events were amazing successes due to many of you in this room, and they come around from time to time. But what could be more important than the culmination of all that is best about Sheboygan County agriculture than the county fair's events every year? This is truly a special place that I know I couldn't be more proud to be from or happier to call home. And with my husband, Joe, the person usually at the microphone, raise our three children in. And we are looking forward to making more family memories of our own at the fair again this year. We have a great night ahead. Thank you all for being here, supporting our candidates and the Ferris program. Tonight, we'll not only learn more about the talents of these young people, but of their passion and dedication to their community and the significance of agriculture and the county fair to them. The county fair indeed holds unique memories for many, and who would know better than our 2010 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair, Brianna Wimler. Let's welcome Brianna. Thank you and welcome everyone to the 2011 Sheboygan County Fairs to the Fair Gala. My name is Brianna Wimler and I had the privilege to serve as the 2010 Fairest. Um, tonight we will be choosing the person who will replace me and today I got to know the nine great girls that are competing for this position. Um, we started early this morning and have been running at 100 miles an hour all day in order to get ready for the events tonight. Um, we practiced our speeches, we perfected um, their introductions and worked on interview questions and talking about what it takes to be a great Ferris And I know that all of them would become great Ferris And so I'm really glad to be here tonight And I'd like you to join me in a round of applause and wish them all great luck tonight. Thank you Thank you, Brianna We'd like to take this moment to recognize our men and women that are serving for our freedom those that have given their lives, and those that have served, our veterans who are here tonight. We salute you and ask you to stand so we may thank you for your service. We'd like to ask you to please stand, and we'll welcome Elise Black, and Cole Booth of Sheboygan County 4-H to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. 
And now it's time to meet our candidates for the 2011 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair in alphabetical order. Rachel Vanha. What do you get when you cross a bookworm with a can of caffeine? You get Rachel K. Bonha. That's me. I'm 18 and I live and work on a family farm in Plymouth with my two loving parents, Mark and Sherry Bonha, and my three extremely tall siblings. I also work at Camp Evelyn for Girl Scouts. I'm also a member and president of the Limelight's 4-H Club. I love showing the three C's, cats, cavies, and cows. And my dreams are to be a writer and to be a Lutheran egg teacher. And I especially love to make people smile. So are you smiling yet? <laughs> Please welcome Lauren Bovat. Good evening. My name is Lauren Bovat. I am 19 years old and the daughter of Dennis and Lisa Bovat. I grew up in Plymouth, Wisconsin, and am currently attending Concordia University for occupational therapy with a business minor. After graduating Concordia, I hope to start my own therapy program specializing in pediatrics. I have been a member of the Sheboygan County 4-H for the past 12 years and I've had an incredible and amazing experience and I look forward to any and all opportunities that lie ahead of me and I hope to be the next Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair. Thank you. Next, we'll welcome Brittany Faber. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2011 Sheboygan County Fairs Gala. My name is Brittany Faber, and I was born and raised in Plymouth, Wisconsin. I grew up on my family's hobby farm with chicken pigs and feed cattle, as I exhibit them at the fair as well. I currently work at Soaring Eagle Dairy Farm as an assistant herdsman, working, managing, working with a thousand cow dairy. In my spare time, I enjoy playing volleyball and spending time with my little sister through the Big Brother Big Sister program. Thank you. Welcome, Stephanie Kemp. My name is Stephanie Kemp from Plymouth, Wisconsin, where I've lived with my parents, Mary and Jeff Kemp, for my entire life of 19 years. I'm currently attending the University of Wisconsin, River Falls, studying biology to become a doctor of veterinary medicine. Over the years, I volunteered in a variety of activities, such as hurricane relief in New Orleans, and using my leadership in student council throughout high school and college to better those around me. I'm a born leader and would use my skills to fill the important role of Fairs to the Fair. Thank you. Let's welcome Heather Lammers. Hello, my name is Heather Lammers. I'm the daughter of Stan and Wendy Lammers. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Oostburg, Wisconsin. I recently just graduated from Lakeshore Technical College majoring in dairy herd management while still being on the waiting list at Marine Park for veterinary technician. I cannot wait to contribute more to the Sheboygan County Fair. I've helped, very, I've helped many times throughout the fair and showed rabbits. I also was the Sheboygan County Rabbit Ambassador. Thank you. Next, please welcome Jolene Benting. Good evening, everyone. 
everyone, and thank you for coming. My name is Jolene Bentink, and I am 19 years old. I live in Waldo, Wisconsin on my family's dairy farm, along with my mom, my dad, and my brother. I also milk cows on the dairy farm, which is my job, my full-time job, and I also feed the calves and, of course, the pets. I plan on going to LTC this fall to get my CNA license and hopefully be hired at, in a nursing home or in a hospital. Thank you for coming, and again, my name is Jolene. Now we welcome Michaela Pockner. I'm from Ada, Wisconsin, and in, this, in the fall, I will be a junior at UW-Green Bay studying communications, emphasizing in journalism and photography. After college, I would love to travel to impoverished parts of the world and share my experiences with others. My career goal is to write for a magazine. Thank you. Now please welcome Katie Reineking. Hi, I'm Katie Reineking and I'm from Plymouth. I'm 22 years old and the daughter of Steve and Patty Reineking. This past May, I graduated from the University of River Falls with a bachelor degree in dairy science. Currently, I work on our family farm, Kingsley Holsteins, where I am the herd manager. One day, I hope to co-own our farm with my brother and be able to expand. Thank you. And now please welcome Ashley Ryan. I'm proud to say I've grown up in Sheboygan County my whole life. I've grown up living between my parents' farm and living in downtown Sheboygan with my dad. I'm going to be attending UW Sheboygan in the fall, and I've just graduated from Harris Grove High School. Thank you for attending tonight, and I'm honored to be here. Thank you. to all of our candidates. It is my honor to introduce to you a very special guest joining us this evening. Alexis Nicolotti is the 2011 Wisconsin Fairest of the Fairs. Alexis grew up on a small dairy farm just outside of Genoa with her large family, parents Steve and Gina, and four younger siblings. They have all been active in 4-H since a very young age, showing swine at the Vernon County Fair. Let's give her a great Sheboygan County welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Alexis Nicolotti, your 2011 Wisconsin Fairest of the Fairs. I have been spending this entire day with all of these fine candidates and good luck to all of you, you guys who have been doing a great job. It's been an honor to get to meet all of you. So my passion is in the fairs, and it means so much to me to have so many people here supporting the fair and the fairs program. Um, I just finished my junior year at Platteville, where I am studying business marketing, and I have already received my minor in biology. I'm involved in cheerleading. I'm also involved in track, and I'm an RA at the housing department down there. I'm so excited for this upcoming summer to visit all of the fairs and do all these different fairs, galas, and all of that. So thank you so much for that opportunity. I can't wait to travel to the many, many different um, counties. So I grew up in Vernon County on a small dairy farm, and I, 
I was showing at the Vernon County Fair, I showed swine, and one of my most favorite experiences with doing so is that I painted the um, swine's toenails before every show, and I was sharing that with the candidates earlier today, so it was a lot of fun to do that. I would love to encourage everyone here today to make it to one of those 76 um, fairs around the state, um, especially the Sheboygan one, but as well, I'd like to invite you to the 160th Wisconsin State Fair. It's presented by U.S. Cellular August 4th through the 14th, and it's got, that's 11 days, 11 days of entertainment for all ages, and there's so much going on. We have one of the fun new things this year is they're having doggy weddings, and they're going to dress the dogs up, um, have bridesmaids, groomsmen, all of that, along with a Elvis impersonator that will be marrying them. So that's great entertainment that will be going on every day. They also have a grizzly bear show that will be going on, and you'll get to also, there'll be a show that's going on to show you all the different things that these grizzly bears can do. However, they will also have them in their natural habitat so that children and anyone of all ages can come and see how it is that they live. It's a fun experience. So with all of that that's going on at the fair, there's also the Potawatomi main stage, and there's such large entertainment coming this year that there's surely something for all ages. My favorite... Um, and the one that I'm the most excited for is MC Hammer. So I cannot wait, <laughs> cannot wait for that performance. There's also Blake Shelton, ZZ Top, and tons of other performers that are coming. All I'd like to say is encourage all of you to go to WI State Fair, and there's a complete listing of events and um, different entertainment that's going on. So come on visit um, the Wisconsin State Fair, August 4th through the 14th. It's 11 days of entertainment for all ages. So thank you once again for having me tonight. It, I did. I had such a blast getting to know everyone today. So enjoy the rest of the evening, and I hope I get to see some of you later. Thank you, Alexis. Now we'd like to introduce our selection panel. The selection team started at 12 o'clock noon today with individual interviews, group interviews, and then a light dinner with the candidates so far. Their jobs aren't over yet as the candidates are still being evaluated on their professionalism, speaking ability, and fair knowledge. I will ask that they please stand as we recognize them and thank them for their commitment to the program. Stephanie Benversi. Stephanie was our 42nd Alice in Dairyland. She holds a master's degree in home economics education from UW-Stout. Stephanie and her husband Randy reside in Manitowoc with their three active children. Stephanie is a stay-at-home mom and enjoys visiting her older children that reside at colleges out of state. Thank you, Stephanie. John Rasmussen. John is from Fond du Lac and a dairy specialist for Vita Plus Corporation, an agricultural company that manufactures livestock feed for dairy cows, beef cattle, and swine, and includes nutrition consulting and on-farm troubleshooting. John holds a Bachelor of Science degree in dairy science from UW-Madison and enjoys supporting the Badger teams. Go Red. Thank you, John. <laughs> Sarah Bradison. Sarah is from Watoma. She is a Northeast Regional Editor for Country Today newspaper. She graduated from UW-Eau Claire with a degree in journalism and is a co-author of Stories Guide to Raising Dairy Goats. Sarah is a licensed cheesemaker and specializes in promoting Wisconsin dairy goat products. Please join me in thanking the selection panel for their time and dedication to these women in our Ferris program. Thank you. At this time, we'd also like to recognize our special guests who are with us this evening. We've met their 2010 Ferris of the Fair, Brianna Wimler. Brianna. And also, again, our Wisconsin Ferris of the Fair is Alexis Nicolotti. Our 2004 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair and featured guest, Nicole Knoll. We have former Ferris, also Aaron Jens in attendance.
We'd also like to welcome Dr. Roger and Barbara Siegert, Foundation Sponsors. <laughs> Jean and Kathy Kessner, Foundation Sponsors. <laughs> the Manitowoc Fairest of the Fair, I understand, is with us tonight, perhaps? Okay, thank you. We have State Representative Steve Castell. <laughs> Our official photographer, Leslie Blatt of Photos by Leslie Faye. And Sheboygan County Fair members, Fair Board members in attendance. Dan Hubrix, Dave Mose. Ron Rail and Lois Rail, Gary Vanderkin, and William Rush. Thank you. Thank you all for being here and supporting our program. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. At this time, we're ready to move into the applicants' radio advertisements and impromptu questions on stage. The women drew an order this afternoon for this component of the contest. The first candidate tonight is Michaela Pockner. <laughs> Michaela is from Adel and a graduate of Random Lake High School. She is currently attending the University of Wisconsin Green Bay, majoring in communications. She is currently employed by Shopco as an apparel sales floor associate. Her future goals include studying abroad and to become a writer or editor for a music or fashion magazine. Michaela. What makes a great Wisconsin day? Maybe it's spending time outdoors with friends and family, enjoying great Wisconsin weather. Maybe it's screaming at the top of your lungs on a wild amusement ride. Or maybe it's just snacking on hot, buttery corn on the cob. Where can you enjoy all this excitement? At the Sheboygan County Fair. Join us September 1st through 5th at Plymouth Fair Park for all this excitement and more. Thank you. Thank you, Michaela. And now we will ask her the impromptu question. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? I was a 4-H member in the Scott Pioneers Club for nine years, and I absolutely enjoyed it. It was my number one activity throughout high school and middle school in the addition. Um, I enjoyed it so much that when I couldn't be in 4-H, I looked for another opportunity to participate in the fair. And I found the Fairs of the Fair program. And I found this was the best fit for me to try and contribute to the Sheboygan County Fair even after I left 4-H. Thank you. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. Next, we'll welcome Lauren Bovat. Lauren is from Plymouth and a graduate of Plymouth High School. She is currently attending Concordia University, Wisconsin. She is employed as a special needs caregiver for an adult with disabilities and also employed at the Mequon Chancery as a hostess and serves as liaison between the Chancery and Concordia University. Her future goals are to become an occupational therapist and found her own therapy program for kids with special needs. Welcome, Lauren. both fun and excitement for all ages. We have games, rides, concerts, animals, tractor pulls, demolition derby, great food. The list just goes on and on. So mark your calendars, because we got it all. The Sheboygan County Fair, September 1st through the 5th, 
Gates open at noon. See you there. Now I'll ask her the impromptu question. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? The Sheboygan County Fair experience that I have had, particularly over the past 12 years as a 4-H member, has definitely shaped my abilities as far as becoming fairest of the fair and filling that role because of all the wonderful experiences there. I've been there for so many years. The animal projects are incredible. The great food, the concerts, everything is just incredible and it would be awesome to be as involved in the Sheboygan County Fair as I possibly can as I continue through my life. Thank you. Brittany Faber. Brittany is 20 and a graduate of Plymouth High School and Lakeshore Technical College, where she received a technical diploma in dairy herd management. She is currently employed at Soaring Eagle Dairy as assistant herds person and owner operator of D&B Cattle Company. Her future goals are to continue advancing in her business by selling affordable and profitable club calves for the show circuit. Brittany. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Can you repeat the question, please? Sure, of course. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Thank you. Ever since I was nine years old, I exhibited livestock at the fair, including swine and beef cattle, and I always looked up to the and the fairest as a role model, as an excellent position. And I feel I have developed leadership qualities such as to fill the leadership as a fairest of the fair. I've also exhibited woodwork and took part in uh, forage activities at the fair as well. That has led me to a person to fill the fairest position. So thank you. Thank you. Jolene Menting. Jolene is from Waldo and a graduate of Sheboygan Falls High School. She is attending Concordia University of Wisconsin. She is currently employed by her family farm, Split Rail Acres, where she is responsible for a multitude of tasks, including milking and general care of all farm animals. Her future goals include exploring her options within the field of agriculture while continuing to be involved in her family's dairy farm. Jolene. Are you looking for some end of summer entertainment but the beginning of September? Well, look no further than our Sheboygan County Fair, September 1st to the 5th. There's, it's a family affair this year, including Grandpa Cratchit, the Lumberjack shows, and of course the animal sales. But don't forget, we have nightly change-ups, including a monster truck show, race cars, and of course the demolition derby. So come join me, Sheboygan County Fairs of the Fair, Jolene Menting, September 1st to the 5th at Plymouth Fair Park. Thank you. Hey, Jolene, here's the impromptu question. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? 
our Sheboygan County Fair has shaped me to run for Sheboygan County Fair just knowing that there's so many things that if you go to the fair just one day, you'll completely forget about something on the other side. So knowing from the 4-H building through up to the horse barn is really fantastic to know for fairs because you'd want to explore other reasons to tell everyone else to come to the fair, not to only meet you, but to see everything. Thank you. Heather Lammers. Heather is from Oostburg and a graduate of Oostburg High School and Lakeshore Technical College, where she received a technical diploma in dairy herd management. She is attending Moraine Park Technical College, where she was on the waiting list for the veterinary technician program. Her future goals are to become a veterinary technician and work as a herds person, calf raiser. Heather. Hello everyone, it's your 2011 Fairs of the Fair, Heather Lammers. Yes, the fair is here again. September 1st through the 5th, so make sure you mark your calendars. We have everything from rides, to games, to fabulous food, and so much more. Oh wait, you can't forget, we are having our first monster truck show, oh yeah! So be sure to mark your calendars, September 1st through the 5th. It's going to be so much fun, packed with your friends and family, and it's a great way to end your summer vacation. Thank you. Now the impromptu question for Heather. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Okay, my, fairest of the, my fair experience has shaped my career by seeing all the wonderful kids and animals is a big part of my career with being a vet technician and I just want to show the kids how much there is to animals and how much responsibility and a great learning experience it is for them. Thank you. Stephanie Kempf. <laughs> Stephanie is from Plymouth and a graduate of Sheboygan Lutheran High School. She is currently attending UW River Falls, where she is working toward her bachelor degree in biology. She is currently employed by the UW River Falls Art Department in the Art Gallery, and is also employed by the Plymouth Aquatic Center as a lifeguard and lessons instructor. Her future goals are to apply to the Peace Corps to volunteer her services and then attend veterinary school. Sheboygan County Fair with more fun than you can bear. Carnival rides to give you thrills and ice cream cones to give you chills. The Blue Ribbon Rabbit and Cow also want you to visit them now. When you hear the monster truck shore, it will leave you shouting for more. So come learn, explore, and enjoy for every man, woman, girl, and boy. Just take a short, quick ride to see our Sheboygan County Pride this September 1st through 5th. It's something you won't want to miss. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Well, since I've been involved or well, lived in Plymouth for so long, the fair has, has been a big part of my life, being involved in 4-H. Um, it has influenced me to run for fairest of the fair because it's such an enjoyable time in my life and I look forward to the fair every single year and I want to promote the fair so other people can experience the fun and enjoyment that it all offers. Thank you. Thank you. Ashley Ryan.
Ashley is from Sheboygan. She's a graduate of Howard's Grove High School and will be attending UW Sheboygan, majoring in agribusiness. She is currently employed by Lino Ristorante Italiano as a server assistant. Her future goals include working in the marketing field to help promote agribusiness and complete her rating of a horse management bee in the United States Pony Club. Ashley. It's Ashley Ryan, the 2011 Ferris to the Fair, inviting you to come out to the fair September 1st through the 5th. Bring the family out for some fun family entertainment, including tractor pulls, Grandpa Cratchit, and the Lumberjack Show. We're featuring some great bands this year, including the UW Marching Band, Red Star Express, Copper Box, and Vic Ferrari. It's five days of affordable family entertainment at the Sheboygan County Fair. See you there. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Okay, um, my fair experience, I've always had a lot of fun at the Sheboygan County Fair. It's a really outgoing experience, and I've had so many great memories at the fair, and I want to be able to share those memories with people and help make so many families and kids have great memories that they want to be able to come back to the fair with their families and with their friends and share those great experiences with all the people around them. And I want to be able to just promote the fair as a whole for families and kids. And I want to just share all those memories with everyone because I've had so many great memories over all the years I've been there. Thank you. Katie Reineking. Katie is from Plymouth and a graduate of Howard's Grove High School and the University of Wisconsin River Falls with a Bachelor of Science degree in Dairy Science. She is currently employed by Kingsview Holsteins, her family farm, where she is a full-time milker and is involved in the breeding and nutrition of the animals. Her future goals include owning and expanding her own family farm. Katie. It's everyone's favorite time of the year, the Sheboygan County Fair. Music, lumberjacks, tractor pulls, monster trucks, indulge in hot Wisconsin cheese, funnel cakes, and cream puffs, while kids scream on rides and beg for a cotton candy and snow cones. Blue ribbon animals and buildings full of 4-H projects. Fun is guaranteed for the whole family at the Sheboygan County Fair, Labor Day weekend, September 1st through the 5th. Katie, how has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Being involved with the fair um, has helped me decide to run for fairs because it is something that has always been important to me. And I think um, being able to teach kids and show kids um, and families different parts of the fair um, is very important and it's also very educational. Thank you. And Rachel Bonoff. Rachel is from Plymouth and a graduate of Sheboygan Lutheran High School. She will be attending Concordia University this fall to major in secondary education, English, and biology. She is currently employed at Fantasy Farms, where she is a small animal caretaker and groundskeeper. She is also employed at Camp Evelyn, where she is a camp counselor. Her future goals are to write and to become a published author. Rachel. Are you a true Wisconsinite? 
Do you use words like garage fry, yup, and bubbler? Do you know where Johnsonville, Waldo, and Random Lake are? And do you know that the Packers are the best football team ever? Then you should be at the Sheboygan County Fair September 1st through the 5th. That's in at the Plymouth Fairgrounds right off of Highway 23 for a lumberjacking, band rocking, four wheel smashing, car smashing, Ferris wheeling, produce judging, and of course, cream puff snarfing time. Rachel, here is the impromptu question. How has your fair experience shaped your decision to run for the position of fairest of the fair? Okay, I've pretty much gone to the fair every year of my life that I can remember. And I've gradually done more and more things at the fair. I started showing and stuff, you know, cats and cows, and you know, I started spending longer time at the fair. And there's also a second part of me, as you know, and that's that I love princesses and happy endings. And I just, every time I'm showing, I see this, they're always very beautiful. I'm just gonna say, it's the fairest of the fair, and she's her sparkly crown. And she always just seems so amazing and happy and just inspired me. And so I'm like, I wanna be like that. And I also have an older sister who I look up to, and she was gonna run with me for Ferris the Fair. We're gonna do it together, even though only one could win. It probably wouldn't have been either of us. But unfortunately, she had finals, and she wasn't able to. But I'm here because Ferris the Fair inspired me, and the fair inspired me to run, just because I'm so in love with the fair, and just being able to express it. And of course, all those amazing role models around me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, candidates. Let's show them our appreciation for their onstage presence. At this time, we'll please excuse our judges. Thank you, judges. So, good evening, friends. Thanks for coming out to celebrate the candidates that have brought so much talent to our county and our evening. If you get the opportunity, you should get their autograph like I did. They've worked hard to be here and to present their talents. Congratulations to you all. I'd like to also congratulate Brianna for her term and serving and helping our county grow with the fair and the people that you meet. She's a passionate woman that I got to talk with. I'd also like to thank the Fairs of the Fair Committee for welcoming me back, inviting me back. I think I was your favorite. <laughs> They asked me to highlight what is it like to be fair to the fair a little bit and tell you what getting involved could mean and where it could take you in life. So I had to do a little bit of digging into the history. Yes, I dusted off my journals, my binders, my videos, my photographs, like the scrapbook that Brenna made. And I found a couple of interesting things. The first one that stands out is my first parade in Elkhart Lake. There was a young man that came up to me just like you had mentioned, in the tiara and the sash. He was all in awe. Can I take a picture with you? Well, of course, I would oblige. And his mother came up to snap the picture. Little did I know she was gonna run home during the parade, print it off, and bring me a copy at the end. That was an inspiration for me my entire term, hanging on the bathroom mirror. So that's a priceless memory that you get. I also found out that I tried three times for Ferris in the Fair because people like Jessica Ford had inspired me while she was Ferris. And then I earned the title. During my term, I learned a couple of things. Like, things about myself that made me seek the Dale Carnegie public speaking course. And that made me get a sales job, fall in love, and get married. Some things in my history book are amazing, and some things we'll just call history. But my point is that past experiences can fuel your future. It can either propel you to achievements or it can push you to learn things and to grow. For instance, tonight, I'm asking each of you to be your best and maybe participate a little bit. Would you please raise your hand if you're a fan of the Sheboygan County Fair? 
Hopefully that's everyone in the room. <laughs> yes, they're all there. Okay, keep the hands in the air. You're gonna raise them a little bit higher. If like the candidates talked about, you have a favorite memory from the Sheboygan County Fair, right? Hands can go a little higher in there. That's great. And if you're gonna be excellent, you're gonna stretch like those little ones over there and get it really high in the air. Thanks. Good job, you can put those down. Welcome to the edge of your comfort zone. It's an amazing place to be and things that you find. Running for Ferris is the first place to stretch that comfort zone, which our candidates have done, and you can do every day, finding your talents and your skills by encouraging other people. Did I know that the encouragement of a friend in 2004 was going to land me the serving as Ferris to the fair? Did I know that was going to take me to the Dale Carnegie program in 2006, and that I'd meet a wonderful man who would become my husband in 2008? No, couldn't predict that stuff but it was wonderful to get there. And a few things have changed along the way. It's okay to make adjustments. Like, I had a dream of being Alice in Dairyland. I traded that for family life and a career in Green Bay. But I stayed true to my passion of agriculture. In fact, yesterday I took my in-laws to the Otagami County breakfast on the farm to show them a modern milking parlor. 12 on each side, machines going. And in July, I'm taking my husband on a vacation to the Marathon County Farm Technology Days near Marshfield. I'm sure he married me for adventures like that. <laughs> Our future endeavors in include starting a Brown County Fairs to the Fair program, because lessons like this I can apply other places, hosting an Allison, fi in Allison Dairyland Finals, hopefully before moving back to Sheboygan County. And I'm wondering, what does your future look like? Are you willing to impact somebody in the next day, week, month, year, like these girls are committing to? Encouraging them to touch agriculture or the Sheboygan County Fair? Please do it and open the opportunities. Like last year, we came up with a photo scavenger hunt for a friend of ours that was engaged. Yes, we used the Sheboygan County Fair. We had to play in the sandbox, we had to go to the horse barn, those kind of things. And now every fair season, that's going to make us remember the time that Katie got on the stage with Mount Madison County. <laughs> so as I close, there's a few nuggets of wisdom that I'd like to pass on to not only the candidates, but everyone in the room. That you can count your blessings and achievements often. Those are the moments that define you. Being here tonight defines you. It's a moment. Even though only one person gets the title tonight, Everyone in this room is a fair promoter, and you can continue to do it. In fact, you can take action tomorrow. Offer a word of encouragement, because history is made and legacies are built by the people in this room. Then make this the year that you chase your dreams. Fast or slow, you'll get there, like I did. And you'll inspire or assist others along the way. Thank you for being part of my adventure, whether it was six plus years ago or tonight. And thank you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Nicole. Now we'd like to ask Gary Vanderkin, the president of the Sheboygan County Fair Association, to provide us with an update of the 2011 Sheboygan County Fair. And Nicole calls, talks of a comfort level. It's not me up here, believe me. I hate this. <laughs> not good at it. Courtney drags me up here every year to occupy a little time. And um, I'm here. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. You take care of that. And I'll um, hats off to Courtney and her committee for doing a great job. Nine candidates, probably a record, I'm guessing. And you did a great job. Um, I get up here and I'll forget things I wanted to say. Vernon County. Where are you from in Vernon County? No. Uh, 20 years of my, 20 years of my best times ever. Third weekend in November, deer hunting. Never forget it. <laughs> There's more deer, I can get a deer in Vernon County. Anybody can get a deer in Vernon County. You can get a deer in Vernon County? I just had to ask you that, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, update on the fair. First of all, it's 
Everybody says you gotta change the fare. How do you change, change the fare? It's kind of the way it is, you know? We have tractors, we have animals and stuff like that. There's not much you can change up, you know? We've been very successful. Last year we had a little glitch. Um, we took a bath, literally, financially. We had a little tough year last year. We're gonna come back, we'll come back strong this year. Thursday night we're gonna start out with our animal sale again and our local tractor pull. Friday, Friday evening, we're gonna go with the, the big tractor pull. And um, Saturday, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. And Saturday night, I think we're gonna go racing, correct? Is that sa Saturday night, we're gonna do a little race program. We're kind of successful at racing. It's not a big, uh, it's not a big, uh, we're not gonna lose money on it, let's say that, okay? So, <laughs> Sunday night, we're gonna go and try a little monster truck. Sunday night we're going to try a monster truck pull. And in the afternoon we have the UW band, we have the Futurity show, and they tell me, I'm not a real big animal person, you know, but they say our Futurity show is the envy of all the state. <laughs> and hats off to them people who have put this together. And uh, years ago we spent some money, the fair did, and we got them going and they took over. And they, it's all them now. They do a great job, and I'm not kidding. We are the envy of the whole, the whole state on that. Um, so, like Sunday night, we're gonna try this monster truck thing. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We hope it is. And then Monday, uh, Monday is teardown day, but we're gonna do that demo derby, which is just fantastically successful. Um, now that's probably 10 ums, and she's counting them, and I can't help it, that's just the way it is. I'm not a good talker. <laughs> I just want to defend ourselves a little bit too. People will be looking for the big axe. And I just want to tell you right now, we're not going to do the big axe for a while. We're not going to do them this year and probably next year either. I know we are contracting for next year. We're getting together with a motocross deal, which I think is going to be very good. But we need a lot of dirt, and we're getting a lot of dirt in for that next year. But I just wanted to say that nobody really knows what these axe cost. Last year, we had sticks, and they cost us, and I'm not kidding you, yes and yeah, it was $55,000 just for one act. We had a country act, and I stand here and I forgot the guy's name, but it was thirty-five dollars to $45,000 for a country act, and we didn't do good. Now that's just, that's just the acts themselves. That doesn't produce, that doesn't include the stage, the lighting, the sound. To produce them, two shows last year cost us $163,000. We have to hire 20 stagehands to set up and to tear down. And I just wanted to defend us that we're, because people ask me all the time, what about the big acts? Well, we're not going to do the big acts this year. And I don't know if we can for a long time to come with the casinos, with Summerfest, with Country Fest, with Rock Fest this year. We just can't compete. But um, we're looking forward to a great fair. And in fact, if we went on the fair tomorrow, we could. We're ready to go. Everything's set in place. We got a few things to do. We have to book a few different bands, maybe. But <laughs> don't have a heart attack. We'll go. Okay. <laughs> so we're ready to go. And uh, thank you this evening for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Courtney, and your committee for what you do for us. Thank you.
Christian Bueller. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Kurt Bueller hired me. He kept taking pictures. He was like, what? It was, it was very funny. <laughs> Thank you. An experience I had at the fair that always stands out to me, one of my first years at the fair, I was showing a duck. And I was so excited about this duck. I got him for my birthday, a little before that, and he came from my uncle. Took him to the fair, and he got judged, and the ducks, the ducks get judged in their cage, where the other chickens we take up to the judge. So I didn't really know why my duck got a fourth place. Well, I took him up for showmanship, and the judge goes, do you know you have a problem with your duck? And I was like, somebody told me, but he's handicapped. <gasps> So that was my experience that was extremely memorable to me. I was so proud of my duck. My duck was the best ever. And here he was handicapped. But it's okay, because I loved him anyway. <laughs> Hello. Um, many memories um, here. Um, what I have to highlight was probably um, my second last year of showing hogs, um, it was a hot summer that year, and uh, probably should, should have worked a little harder with them, not gonna lie. And uh, in showmanship, I was trying to pen them, and when it's hot and they're not well tamed, they tend not to listen. Well, frustration and impatience built up, and uh, Thankfully, the judge understood with the weather conditions that my pig did not want to cooperate, but I ended up taking a reserve champion uh, showman, which was pretty exciting, but that was probably the most memorable. <laughs> Hi, I'm so excited right now that I can't think of just one memory. So um, I have to say my favorite part of the fair is seeing all the animals. It's sad that they aren't all mine, but it is nice to see all the people who are dedicated to showing their animals and seeing how nice and soft and fuzzy the rabbits are. <laughs> One of the best memories that I have is when I first started showing, I showed dairy. I got through the first round and I was gonna go clean my halter and little did I know that I adjusted the thing and when I did showmanship, she got loose and ran wild. Luckily, my dad was there to catch her and bring her back to me. <laughs> my most memorable part of the fair was when I just started showing my horse. Um, I walked in, I was so ready. I had the naughtiest horse ever. None of you know who I, my horse is. Um, he was young and I was young and I walked up to the judge and he was standing still. She laughs at me and turns my hat around. I walked into the ring with my head on backwards. <laughs> um, for five years, myself, along with other members of the Sheboygan County Sewing Project, were proud to bring high fashion to Sheboygan County Fair. I also have many memories especially being in dairy. But one that sticks out uh, was one year, I'm always told, you sign your animals up, you have to take them all. And this was the first year, and only, that I was told to keep one home, because no one else liked her, but I did. And I did all the work with her, and I walked out of the ring uh, with first place, and a trophy. <laughs> One year, I had my pony at fair, and I thought it would be really fun to do a costume class with my cousin. So we took all this effort to paint the pony black and white striped like a jail costume. Yeah, my cousin's here, he's laughing. And it took, it took like two hours to paint the pony, and we got these costumes, we were all excited, you know, rode the pony in the rain double. We thought we were gonna get first place, and we got like a third. <laughs> And now our entertainment, as you can see, is brought to us by the hardworking 4-H club members and parents of the Johnsonville Hustlers 4-H club. 
They will be presenting Thanksgiving dinner, a lesson in cooperation.
and I've always wanted to say this. May I have the envelopes, please? <laughs> I will first mention, sorry, a little more suspense. The second runner-up will receive a $100 cash award from the Ferrist program. The first runner-up will be active, filling the shoes of the Ferrist in areas where she is not able to attend. First runner-up will receive a $200 cash award from Jean and Kathy Kastner. Thank you, Kastners. Our 2011 Ferrist of the Fair will be responsible for serving as the Sheboygan County Fair official host Labor Day weekend, as well as participate and represent Sheboygan County in the state competition in January. The winner this evening will be receiving the Dr. Roger and Barbara Siegert Family Foundation Scholarship of $500. Thank you, Siegerts. Additionally this year, the winner will be receiving a $250 scholarship award from a grant provided by the 2006 Farm Technology Days in Sheboygan County Committee. Please step forward as your name is called. We have a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, it's great. Our 2011 second runner-up is Jolene Menting. Woo! Our first runner-up. Our first runner-up is Lauren Bovad. And our two thousand eleven. Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair is Brittany Faber. Everyone, thank you. We look forward to supporting you wherever your paths lead in the future. And thank you all for supporting these outstanding candidates, the Ferris of the Fair program and the Sheboygan County Fair. Please stay, enjoy each other's company, have a safe ride home. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.